I'm Sean Velez, an American Board Certified Endodontist practicing in Aiken, South Carolina. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to isolate virtually any tooth in the mouth using only four rubber dam clamps. It's easy. Let me show you how to do it. Rubber dam isolation is one of the most important steps in root canal therapy. Without it, bacterial contamination will occur resulting in a less favorable outcome. The rubber dam allows the clinician to perform root canal therapy safely and with less stress. Minimizing the number of clamps used will make this step less difficult and more efficient. The four rubber dam clamps I use are the number one, the number four, the number nine, and the 209 SM. The number one clamp works great for bicuspids, small molars, and prepared molars. It is placed in the following manner. The number four clamp is my clamp of choice for virtually any molar tooth. It may also be used for large bicuspids. This is an example of how I place the number four clamp. The number nine clamp is an excellent choice for most anterior teeth. Alternatively, if a large canine or central incisor is encountered, you may use the number nine's sister clamp, the number six, which has a larger facial jaw. The number nine is placed in the following manner. One of my favorite clamps, the 209 SM, available from Ultimate Dental, allows the clinician to isolate even the smallest teeth. Its thick bow allows this clamp to securely grip onto prepped and broken down teeth. It's one of my secrets. This is an example of how I place the 209 SM. Here's a visual guide that I use to train my assistants on where to punch the rubber dam and where to place the respective clamp. Minimizing the number of clamps you use will make your setup more organized and efficient. Remember, rubber dam isolation is your key to success in endodontics. Thank you for watching.